and I think we are live. That's not what I want. Hey, Christelle. Christelle or Crystal. I'm not sure how you say that, huh, Louise? Hey, Swirly. Hey, Marianne. And I am just pulling this up on Facebook so I can see chat. Yay, thank you, Shirley, for sharing. I appreciate that. And let's see. There we go. Making sure I've got everything set up and running. And I did a new camera, so you guys are going to have to tell me if this overhead is better than it's been. If not, they can have it back. <laughs> hey, Sue. It's afternoon for Sue and evening for me. It feels like you just woke up. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and play the intro, and then we're going to get started tonight. Thursday and I had a request I had someone have uh, issues putting together tonight's project and so I um, asked them if they needed help and I didn't hear back from them so I took that as a request that they needed help so um, I put it on the books and and we're going to put that together tonight and I have discovered why they might have had some issues and so we're going to help you guys uh, correct those today. All right. And we will be live tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And we are going to show the uh, free for the weeks or featured things like that. My volume is very low. Okay. Let me see if I can adjust that. Thank you for that, Marianne. Is that better? Is that a little bit better? You guys let me know because if you don't tell me, I don't know because I my sound is off uh, so that it doesn't just keep repeating and echoing on you guys. So unless you tell me, I don't know. Hopefully that's better. Maybe. Still a little bit low? Hmm. Okay. It's getting better for you? Good, good, good. Hopefully that will do it. Let me... 
I hate to I hate to click on buttons that I don't know what they are. I have a performance mode on this and I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to test that before I click on it. Hopefully it's better now. Hopefully you guys can hear me loud and clear. If not, I'll speak up a little bit. Just just keep telling me and we'll get there. <laughs> All right. And so tomorrow we do our featured. We're going to design something from the featured images in Access. So, uh, and maybe for, use all free images. Maybe use Access images. Uh, so join us for that. At 11 a.m. on Saturday, we have our Zoom our second Zoom for the month, we're going to be creating a sign and doing some paints and stenciling, that kind of stuff, or iron-on. Oh, great. Yay, Marianne. Um, and so, if you're not joining our Zooms, you can do that by going to Patreon and becoming a Zoom tier supporter. And you can join in on our Zooms where you can chat back with me by miking up, just like you can hear me now. No typing involved unless you just want to type into chat. Um, and we have a lot of fun. So uh, come and join us. And if you don't want to do the Zooms, but you want access to all my files, just join up on Patreon. $5 a month gets access to all of my files. Uh, let's see, all my monthly files. If you do annual, you'll get some extra files, and you save 15%. So, and tonight is giveaway night, guys. We're going to be drawing for the Shake Your Shamrocks giveaway. Remember the uh, Bright 360 tabletop and a Maker 3, not a Maker 3, I'm sorry, an Explore Air 3 is what we're giving away tonight. I got Maker on the brain. I'm looking at my Maker and saying it. <laughs> So, um, got that done, and just so you guys know, you can find every month, you can find a giveaway in the featured pin post. Um, this is the one that we're drawing on tonight. It is already closed, so you cannot uh, join in on that now, uh, but you can join in on the next one, and a new one will come up on the first of the month. So look for that one in April. Um, let's see. I'm trying to make sure that I don't forget anything. I think that's it. Oh, no, I can't forget. Thank you, moderators and admins. I greatly, greatly appreciate you. I couldn't do it without you. Um, so thank you for everything that you do. Hey, DIY. And I don't see any comments on Facebook yet. So let's go ahead and pop over to Design Space and take a look at tonight's project. So the project, you can come in from Design Space or you can do it from the home page. You want to go to projects and right up here at search projects. I'm just going to leave it in all categories because it's simple enough. And I'm just going to type 3D coffee. I think it'll pull up both of them. Yeah. So you see right here, here's one and here's one. They look a little bit different. You're my best tea here. That's a tea one. And then here's the coffee one. And they're really the same project. Um... So, I, I just picked this one for whatever reason, but I'm going to show you. I don't know that the issue in this file exists in the other file. In case it does, you will know how to fix the other file, should that you choose that one to do. But you can customize either one to be whatever you want it to be, coffee or tea, or, or change the top out, or the decorative piece. You can do that simply by selecting on customized. Now, I know that it says subscribed on there. I had to pay for the image. When I set this up, it was supposed to be an access image, but there was an issue with it and they fixed it. But when they fixed it, it did something and it made me pay for it. I don't know if there's an image in there that is not an access image, but when I went to pay for it, it showed that it was access. So if you already have the image, you shouldn't have a problem. Um, but if you want to hold off purchasing it until I can get 
word back because I'm still waiting to find out if it's just a, a, a glitch and they need to fix it or if there is actually something in this file that is not an access image. Okay, um, but when I pe went to pay for it, it showed me. And because I've already purchased it, I can't show it to you so you know what to look for. Okay, so um, make sure that if you want the file, go ahead and get it. But take notes and you'll have this video to refer back to. And as soon as they get it fixed or give me word that, no, that is true and correct, I will post it in the group and let you know. And I will try to remember to put it in the video description as well, whether or not you actually have to pay for it or if it is totally access. Okay. And I do apologize for that, but with, with what I was seeing, I was under the impression that this was a total access image because it was supposed to be. It's showing that it is access, but things happen, right? I'm just catching up on chat really quick here. I know, Sue, right? All the new machines coming out. That's awesome. The hat press. I love it. I love it. You wondered how these were made, DIY? It's really super easy, but there's some issues with the file which make it complicated. So, because things don't work like they're supposed to, but we're going to fix them. So, and I'm going to save and share this file in the C Cricut community with you guys so that you can go on and search Crafting with April in there and you will find this project because I am going to put it in the community after I correct it. Okay. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Connie. You're in the snow. It rained here all day, off and on. I still managed to get a small morning walk in. Not a big one, but a small one. Okay, so I brought this image, and you saw that I just opened it. I haven't done anything to it. And one thing that I noticed right off was the handle. There's a piece missing, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the intention was. Um, but it looks like... I'm just going to ungroup this. This piece... This piece should... This piece right here should be duplicated. Okay. And if you want it to line up, flip it vertical and then place it there. And then this piece, and arrange and move that to the front, should be there. And I'm going to duplicate it and flip it or either just change this one to blue, whichever way you want to do it. Okay. But you should have had two of each. And we only had, we had two here, but the, but they were both cutting in brown, and then we had one blue up here and no brown. So I don't know what was intended there, but I think that that will make it look a little bit better in the project when you make it. So I am going to group that back. That was one thing that I found. I did not save my little heart for the inside of this because it's supposed to be a hole. Um, but you can save it if you want out of this one to add extra decor, whatever you want to do. This all looked fine. However, if you want to get everything on one sheet, you've got to make this smaller. Okay? So, And I'll show you what I mean when I hit make it. And we're not done. There's still some adjustments that need to be fixed in the file. Um, or it won't go together the way that it shows in the photo. And I'm just going to select any material. So this fits fine, and I didn't do the um, iron-on. You can do iron-on if you want to iron-on paper, or you can do vinyl like they did. I did not cut this for the assembly, but all you're going to do is stick those on. This worked out fine, no issue. The top was fine. Everything here was fine except this piece. This piece was a problem. Um... And then everything, because Design Space sees it this way, um, you can go in on the, instead of having to move all of this around, you can go in and you can change it around on the canvas 
and attach everything so that it just comes right to one mat. Or if you're doing multiple projects, you can just leave it like it is and do what I'm doing here. I'm um, just going to move these down. And I'm going to click on them and move object. And I'm going to bring it over to the other blue mat. And I'm going to confirm. So I have that one there. And then I'm just going to go back over to the other mat and grab that other piece so that I don't leave any pieces behind. And I'm going to move that object and I'm going to bring it up to that same mat. Okay. So what I did is I just shifted this piece down on this mat and I brought this one in really close. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be real, real close. You're okay. Bring this one all the way to the left. Just slide these out of the way for now. And then bring this piece up. Okay, and then I took this piece and I brought it up here, I believe. And this one here. Um, maybe I slid that over slightly. And then I brought this up. It's not going to hurt anything if it clips the tip off of that one, but let's just bring it down and swap it. So if yours is touching, you can swap it because this one is a little bit shorter, okay? The one with all the cuts in it is a little shorter. So you can bring that in and it all fits. Then this piece I brought in and sat right here. And then this piece I sat right here. This piece I couldn't get to fit. That's why I said if you want to get it all out of one page and not have to cut one piece from another piece of paper, you're going to have to make that tag smaller. Um, and it's going to have to be no more than about an inch and a half wide because even I turned it, I did everything that I could do and you can see I only have about maybe an what, inch and a quarter maybe in there uh, or maybe you have a scrap of paper and you don't have to change the size or you can do a different tag altogether, different color tag completely out of one of the other colors on your mat. So... That being said, that is the way to get this project out of one sheet on your main color. You're, you can use scraps on all your other colors um, or make multiples. You tried to make it DIY and it didn't turn out so good. That's okay. I'm going to show you how to make it look beautiful. Okay? So we're going to cancel that. I just wanted to show you guys how you could fit it all on there. So if I wanted to fit all of this on, I'm going to have to shrink that tag down. Okay? just so that it can, that's about, just about an inch and a quarter high. I could probably go a little bit bigger on it, but you can see and decide how, how big you want to make that tag. I'm just going to leave it normal size for right now. I'm not going to change anything as far as that goes. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to group it. Now this piece, now this was a remake of an original project. So that is why I probably had a couple of issues. Um, because if you go back to the bestie one and go back into this one, it stems from this project here. So some changes may have been made on it. I don't know if this is still the original person that did this. But this piece, they put a band around the cup at the base. Right here, you can see a little bit of it right here. And that's all fine and good. Except... That it's the exact same size as this piece. And by the time that you get this piece and this piece and this piece and put it all together, this piece is too short. It's absolutely too short. I tried to do it many different ways. I tried to glue it and slip it on. I tried to uh, slip it over the top, slip it over the bottom. I tried everything that you I tried to do it what before and, and hook it around the cup, it is absolutely too short. The size that it needs to be is, I mean, very minute, another eighth of an inch, okay? So if you change this, just unlock it because we don't want to change the height. And we're just going to change that 0 0.628 to 0 0.753, okay? 
and stretch it out just a tiny bit. I'm going to lock it back using the handles here, or you can lock it here. And now you can see it's just a tiny bit longer. If I line up those arrows, you can see that it has a little bit extra back here on the back. You don't have to worry about this tab being different sizes from that because they don't connect, okay? And that is going to enable you to put this together without an issue. And I'm going to click Save, and I'm going to do a Save As, and I'm going to put Corrected, and I'm just going to put Corrected for Us. I mean, this is for us. Um, and, I mean, because they may have intended for the project to be that way, but I had difficulty with it that way. And then I'm just going to edit, and I'm going to come down here. Oops. I did save that, didn't I? Okay, let's go to My Projects, where I saved it, right here. And we're going to customize it. And then I'm going to, there we go. So now I'm going to edit my project details. I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and I'm going to share it with everyone and save. So now it's in the Cricut community. Let me copy that project link. And let's see. I don't know if you guys can click on it here on YouTube and get it to open, but there it is and it's fixed, or you can open up your own copy and fix it. Now, I've already cut it, so we're going to go over to the overhead, and we are going to put this together. And here's my little mock-up that I did and how I discovered that things needed to be changed. I don't know... Um, I don't know that I like this lid this way, and I tried to glue the handle to the top of it there just so it would be connected and, you know, see how I liked it, and I didn't like that either, but I really, I liked it better than I like this. Um, I don't like it being covered, uh, but it is what it is. I liked it being connected, but that being said, this is just a little bit too long, and it made the top spring open. So, there's that. <laughs> You're welcome, DIY. All right. It's there. Thank you, Sue. So, it's in the Cricut community, guys, if you need it. My throat's a little dry. I apologize. <clears throat> Had to have a sip of my drink here. So you've got all your pieces. And you're going to start. These are your mug pieces. These are your base pieces. This is the bottom of the box. And this is the piece that I marked. This is the original size. This is the one that I cut. Okay? And I'll show you guys the difference. Uh, the one that I changed. So we're going to start, and I'm just going to start just to get this out of the way so it will quit hanging on everything, with our little decorative piece. And I'm going to put some glue on the back. And this piece is a little floppy because the way it cuts but it's so stinking cute so make sure you get glue on all the parts so that they don't flop around on you okay and then you're going to glue it right on top of your other piece here I'm a little messy with the glue there but that's okay art glitter glue dries matte and clear so we're just going to set that to the side to dry. Is this camera clearer for you guys? Does it look better? Yeah, we might be able to make the handle shorter so it won't pop off, Sue. 
Yeah, it, it would be it would be cute. You can make it larger, I think, Shirley, but I don't know how much larger you can make it um, because these are, I guess if you had 12 by 24 paper so you could rotate these, you could do it. So, super cute though. And then you have your tag. So I don't have all the pieces because I cut two at the same time before I realized there were issues with the file. So I'm missing the little piece here at the top on mine, but you guys, if you got that file, you have it. I'm just going to get a piece of twine here and my scissors. And we're going to take our twine and just fold it over and loop it. And you're going to run it through your craft paper. I use craft paper on this part because that's what that looked like they used in the video. Okay, and I'm just, I'm going to bring that off to the side. I don't want it to go right up to the point. I'm going to bring it off to the side and then tie a knot in it. Now, if you prefer to do it, I did the other one the other way, but it's totally up to you how you want to do it. I, I figured I would show, do my way and do their way. I just did it, stacked all three and glued them and then put my twine on there. You can do it that way, or you can do it this way. I think this is the way they did it. I'm not going to swear to it. And then I'm going to take a couple of foam dots at the top there. I'm just going to go ahead and peel those release liners as I go. I'm just going to put a few on there. And you can use larger ones and not use as many if you want. You're not going to need a whole lot. I just don't want it to sag in the middle. And then you're going to line that up right on top of this one. Okay? And that's going to create your little hydra twine there and then this one you can pop dot up as well I don't think that one's going to fit in there should have used bigger ones but hindsight that one doesn't want to get away from me It does look clear. It looked good. It looks a lot clearer for me too, and it's not doing that jumpy thing. I that I couldn't stand myself. So I'm just gonna pop that up, and then that's gonna give you some dimension on your little tag. Cute little tag for it. Okay, super easy. We're gonna set that off to the side. Then we're gonna take our handle, and it has two scores on it, and you can fold those up. And then you're going to get this piece. Now, in hindsight, I would have cut this out of the craft board so that it showed up a little bit better, but it's totally up to you. Um, I would have changed the color of this piece. Okay. And then that's going to glue right into the center. You want to glue that while it's flat. Again, I'm a messy gluer when it comes to those teeny tiny pieces. All right. And then, of course, you're going to layer on these pieces. And you'll be putting your brown one right over the top on each end if you're using the corrected file. And then your blue one right over the top of that because I really think that it was meant for both ends of the handle to look the same. I don't have, I, the pieces didn't cut right, so I don't have it, but yours should look identical, okay? Instead of looking like this, because this is just the way the file was set up, and that's the way it cut. 
So after it dries and you've got both ends looking the same, you can just put a little, just hold it and just pinch it and curl it a little bit. And that's going to help it relax so when you go to put it on the cup, okay? It's going to look something like that. And you can set that off to the side. Then you have two pieces. Now you can change the color of these, whatever you want. It depends on what color you're making your cup. The smaller of the two is the bottom of your cup. It is very important. If you tried to put this together and it wouldn't work and it wouldn't go, that is the reason why. You cannot mix these pieces up. So if you do them the same color, just make sure that the small one is for the bottom of the cup, okay? The large one is for the top of the cup. And the top of the cup are these pieces. The large one and two bands. One with the slits in it and one without. Okay? It has just one on the end. That's going to be our lid. We're going to set the rest of it off to the side. And you're going to start with the one that has all of these holes in it. Okay, with the arrow pointing to your left, you'll take this piece, whoops, I forgot something, fold all of these down. You can fold them on both pieces at the same time, doesn't matter, they're, they're going to go together the same way. So you want to fold those down with this pointed to your left. You're just going to put one of them, it doesn't matter, pick one, and place it into that first slot by the arrow glue that one. Now in the instruction it says don't glue them all, glue the first one. I don't know why. Um, it's probably going to be easier to handle if you just glue one um, and walk it around, but you want to make sure it's dry before you start doing this step. Okay. So once that you have that, then you're going to place the second one in and you're just going to start walking that around. Okay. And don't glue them. I don't know, again, I don't know why because I ended up having to glue them, but she never stated in the directions when to glue them. So it kind of just got skipped. Um, but I tried to put it together without gluing them, and that was just, I don't know. It didn't work for me. So once you get here and you've got all of those little tabs in, you're going to take this arrow over the top of that slit and you're going to push it right on in. Okay? And it should bring it on in and click it. And they say you don't have to glue it if you don't want to. Um, you don't have to. Would I? Yes. That way it's not going to pop apart. Um, you're not going to have issue with it. So I just put just a tiny bit of glue in there, making sure that this all meets and it's nice and snug. Okay? So that you've got that all brought together. Okay? And with this part, it really doesn't matter, I don't guess. But with the base, it did matter. This piece, you're just going to pop, oops, go over the top and pop that arrow inside. It will go. You may have to fiddle with it for a second, but it will go. I liked my tweezers for this. It was just easier to grab it. That way I could hold the side of it and pull it through. There we go. So then it's pulled together just like this. Now I did not glue this. This piece is going to slip over the top of this. So you'll want to line up your seams and then slip it over. That's what the instructions say to do. Okay and they didn't use any glue. 
and this worked perfectly fine for me. Um, I didn't like the gaps in it, so I did go around after I did that, and I ran a bead of glue in between the two just so that I could get a little more finished look to the inside of the lid. And I just walked it around till the till they stuck because I didn't like the way that that tried to open up and gap. Just to give it a finished look. And then this is the top, so of course I did. I didn't like the way that looked, so I went around wherever it wasn't stuck, the glue didn't come through and I glued it. Now I didn't run any on the inside of this piece because it's a nice tight fit. It didn't need it. But I just wanted to bring that lid piece together. With this to the right, with your seam to your right, then you can place this on because if it's not to your right, when you go to put this on, if you're don't have this centered then this is going to show in the front and you don't want that you want that over by that handle so you want to make sure that that is to your right and you place this on top so that it's straight and you could pop dot this up too if you wanted to with some foam dots but I just plopped it down right in the center turned it over and give it a little press not hard just a little bit and that's the lid. That's all there is to it. Then you're going to grab your box piece. And again, all your air, little arrows to the left. And this piece. You want to fold all those tabs in. And then you'll want to come over to the first one and put one of the tabs in. Again, doesn't matter which one. Put a little touch of glue on it and then you're going to glue that one into place and if you mix these two pieces up you you will not you will not get those pieces to go in here yeah foam tops with the foam yeah <laughs> this piece will not go together these two pieces will not fit if you pick the wrong one, if you've got that lid piece in here, you will not get these to go in. If you have to fight to get these little tabs in these slots, you have the wrong piece. It is a very interesting construction. They did a really good job on it. I just think that it's been reworked for di making different colors and adding a couple of things. And in that the bands got missized and then when people try to just click on make it it's giving them an issue because you do have to tweak some of those images now i'm telling you right now if you let go of this while you're doing this it's going to spring apart and you're starting over okay just saying you will be starting over because it'll go flying and that's this was the most difficult part for me was hanging on to it and keeping it from flying across the desk. Getting all those little tabs in. And they go in pretty easy if you have the right piece. Don't ask me how I know that. I'm just going to grab that with my tweezers because I know if I let go... Ooh, I got lucky. I bent it up that, and it didn't fly. Then I'm just going to pull that one through. All right. Now that I have them all through, I'm going to hold this because I don't want it to get away from me. Starting from, you want to come over the top with your arrows and you're going to push those in. And this is where you need another hand. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. I'm trying to do it while, so that I can show you guys on camera. And you know what? I'm gluing it. 
I need to glue it. It says don't glue it. I'm gluing it. It wants to, wants to come apart on me. Just make sure if you glue yours that you've got that pushed in so that it's nice and flat. There we go. Now, it's just stay. Oh. Stay, stay, stay. There. That'll keep it from popping out. I'll put a foam dot on it while I do this and it won't pop apart. And then I'll pull that off. You don't need that foam dot there. It's just for me to work it. All right, so now I'm just sticking those in. And again, the instructions state that you don't need any glue on this part. You get up here. You want to go in from the top. All right, now I have them all in. So then that's interlocked, okay? Just like that. Now it says to take this piece in the instructions and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna just stick these four arrows right into each one of those slots going over the top and inside. That's going to give it a more finished look on the outside. Alright, so now that one, see, I didn't get it all the way. If you don't get it all the way in there, it's going to come back apart. It's almost like it clicks when you get it in there. And again, I'm just going to take my tweezers and pull it through. There we go. So now we have the sleeve. And it's supposed to go over the bottom and slip over. And now, now I guess because I'm live, it's working. I had a real problem on the first one getting it to slide over. So that's why you don't have to glue the tabs. You can glue them if you want, but you don't have to. And I'm just afraid that that's going to happen and it's going to slide out. That's me. Maybe not. I Like I said, I glued it on this one. Didn't matter. But on, that's the way it goes together. Just like that. Now this is the band that's in the file that was in the original file, and you're supposed to uh, oops, put it together the same way with the arrow to the inside, and then slip it over. And I absolutely could not, in any way, get it to go over the top or over the bottom. And I glued it because it's the same size, and now I have two layers of cardstock, and it may be the cardstock that I used. So when I extended it, I extended it and I opened it up like this and put just a little touch of glue on the inside of that arrow and on the inside of this cardstock just a little bit. It's right here. And then I just pulled it open. And when you pull it open, it's just this side meets this side. It doesn't quite, it, it lays flat. It's not overlapped. And then I glued them into place. And then I was able to get that to go over with a little bit of work. Eh, you can see it popped apart. My glue's not dry. Let me get it back in there. Let me hold it for a second. So does anybody have any questions on how this goes together? Let's 
Make sure you line that seam up. Again, make sure your seams stay lined up. See, it, it's still tight with the wet, even though I extended it. Get it started good, and then it'll go right over it. And they didn't glue theirs. They said they didn't. I'm gluing mine. And I did push that in a little bit just to give it some more roundness. So I just slid it down past where it goes and put some glue around the base. Stood it back up and push that piece back down to the table. And of course, it was so much easier when I wasn't live. There we go. Just work it down. Let's see, that's I knew that was going to happen. That's why I glued mine. See, that's not going to happen with these because I glued it. If you squeeze that too hard, it pops apart. And that's exactly what it did. It popped apart. Right there. So now i got to pull those two apart. And glue them. So I'm going to tell you guys, glue it. Glue it, glue it, glue it. But because none of this is glued, I can take it apart. Well, I did glue that one, didn't I? I'll take my dot off. And we're just going to thread it back together. So I'm just going to tell you guys, glue them. After you get it put together and you get that side piece done, go back and glue all these tabs on the lid too. I know they say in the instructions you don't have to, but I would glue them. So you don't have that issue. If you push the bottom of it, it what if you're packing your item in there and you give it a little extra push or you put a little too much weight in it and then the bottom falls out, right? don't want that to happen but this right here was the most difficult part of the whole project I guess they wanted a no glue project because I would have just done a tab here and glued this instead of fighting all of these little arrows but it's pretty cool that it you, you really don't need any glue but if you want it to be sturdy you do I'm just gonna do all of those tabs and then I'm just gonna glue them down And I'm just putting my finger inside behind them and pushing them down, waiting on that glue to grab. Yeah, that would be really cute, Shirley. Is it making sense now, DIY? Craft board takes a little bit longer with the glue to set for some reason. Yay! So while I am waiting on all this glue to grab, I think, I think, I think I'm going to give away The tabletop lamp first. 
So now all of those have grabbed. I'm going to bring this back. And I did glue these tabs from the inside too on my on the mock-up. And I didn't have any problems. I just went inside and gave a little squirt of glue behind each tab. And I'm going to do it here too so it doesn't keep pulling apart. And I'm just giving a little squirt in there. Trying to get some to run behind it. Just enough to hold it. Your OCD would make you glue everything, Kath. I, I, yeah, I'm, sometimes I get leery of no glue projects. So, so, and it still came apart. Not dry yet. Yeah. There's more than one way to skin a cat and run a bead up in there and then place these in. Gotcha now. There we go. Just wanted to fight me every inch of the way, huh? Yay! And of course I went inside and then glued the sleeve to it. Just like I did the lid and go all the way around. I'm just not doing it here, but all the way around. Then you're ready for your handle. And this is the right size. So I'm going to put this one on the bottom because it has both pieces cut for it. Right down on the seam. Okay. And you're gonna hold that until it dries, of course. And then this one, right here on the seam, right at the top. Super easy. Anybody have any questions about this project? Does everybody know where to find the instructions? By clicking on the title and then scrolling down. And then from what I could tell, this isn't all the way dry yet, guys, but from what I could tell, they just took their tag and let it hang in the inside. I would actually tie it around the handle, most likely. But that's all there is to it. Super easy. All right, so I have to get my Facebook up here and pull that page out so that I can see their project because I'm going to be showing the winner's project on YouTube. Yes, it is really cute. I love it. I, I think they're really super cute. And now they did splatter theirs with paint. I did not go through all of that. This was just an assembly. If you look at theirs, and they do tell you in the instructions to splatter it with your acrylic paint and a brush. Um, you can use a toothbrush, whatever you want to use to do that. I just did not do that because I'm not going to splatter paint all over my computer to do it online. 
okay so you guys can do those finishing touches if you want personally i would do my paper before i cut it i would splatter it before i cut it honestly that's the way i would do it um let's see there's that now i'm going to go over to raffle copter and i have to pick the winner and i can't show you guys live because it does expose their email address and i don't want to do that to anybody i want to protect their information but i will screenshot and show you the winner chosen um and our winner let me see if she has a project because hmm just has her first name so i have to get them to look it up and tell me who that is ruzik kim ruzik i think if she posted her project let's see let me see if I can find her project. If not, if she didn't post a project, she would be disqualified. I think I'm spelling her name properly anyway. Let me get back over so I can show you guys the winner. Oh, ch -ch -ch -ch. There we go. Change, please. I am not. Let me check the other group. Let's see. I'm going to give it a few minutes. Let's see if we can find her project. Because that was one of the stipulations, guys. You had to post your project. Not in that group. All right. And I've got one of my admins looking to see if she posted a project. I'm not finding one. I just want her to double check because I don't want to disqualify anybody and then find out later that they did have it. So next week, our project, I'm going to quit this here. Next week, I think, while we're verifying this, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and draw the winner for while we're looking for that one. Um, okay. She did not post a project at all. So this one. Sorry about that. Disqualified. Let me draw another winner. This is still for the table. Bright 360 table. Diane 
Stadola. I, I hope I didn't slaughter your name, Diane. Diane S. Are you here? Maybe. She posted in Cricut Maker Projects. Okay. The, I should have known the other one. She didn't fill out her information, which that's not a stipulation, but let me pull that page back up. And get the name for you guys. Okay, second name selected. And I lost my Facebook page. There it is. Let me look up this winter. This winter. Winter. Winter, winter. There we go. Thank you, Marianne. She found it. So, I'm going to slide this over so you guys can see. Her project, she is the winner of our Bright 360 table lamp. Yay, Diane. So we're going to go in there and type in winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we have one winner. Now we get to draw for the Explore 360. And I'm just going to bring this up just to show you guys that I had to hide her email because it does show that email. She is our table lamp winner. All right, so next one. I am so scared. I'm trying to be super careful because I'm so scared I'm going to close the page and then not get what I need. And Diane's from Canada. Yay. All right, so now we're going to pick for our Bright 360. I mean, no, blah, blah. We just did the Bright 360. Our... Cricut Explore Air 3. There we go. And let me check this one. Ooh, I almost did it. I knew I was... I'm trying to do screenshots. I'm trying to be so, so, so careful not to close anything before I'm ready. And I don't know the last name on this one. I have to find it. So, guys, bear with me for just a second. Let me see if I can find that last name. I'm going to bring this over. They didn't put their last name in, so that makes it so difficult. Yeah, the earrings were super cute. I love those earrings. All right. Found it. Thank you. Got it, uh, Marianne. Appreciate it. So let me pull that one up, and I'm going to slide this one over. Congratulations, Aziza. 
Kadir, I think. I hope I'm not slaughtering anybody's name tonight because I really do not know. And there is... Oops. How did I do that? Let's see. Okay, there's where they won. And let me get the... Let me get the photo back. <laughs> Don't know how I did that. There we go. For some reason, Facebook thought I wanted to put that. So there's Aziza's project. Did an iron-on shirt. Let me pull that one in. There we go. Aziza won the... Explore Air 3. Yay! So, so happy. All right. Aziza and Diane, I need from you to message me your address, no P.O. boxes, and um, your Facebook well, I've got your Facebook profile link, and I will also need um, a phone number for tracking purposes only. It will not be shared with anybody. None of that information will be. And I will be announcing it in groups, so let's notify them. And it will be posted on the Crafting with April Cricket giveaway tab by Rafflecopter. They will be posting the winners. All right. Does anybody have any other questions on tonight's project or any other project or design space? Any of those good things? Yay! Thank you so very much, admins and moderators. Couldn't do any of this without your support. Greatly appreciate you. Thank you to all the Patreon and Kofi supporters and our YouTube channel members. Greatly appreciate all of you guys as well. And don't forget, new giveaway coming up April 1st. Make sure that you're watching that featured pin post for that and the group. And I'm just giving it a minute. I'm catching up on chat, making sure that nobody has any other questions, anything. I don't want to leave anybody behind. Nora's on there. Suzanne. Hey. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or you need help, you know how to uh, adjust the bestie tea bag one. Same as the coffee cup because I'm pretty sure it's the same. Hey, Diane. There she is. Yay. You won the lamp. Awesome. Congrats. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Diana won the lamp. I'm glad that you got something that you needed. That was an awesome project. Love those earrings. All right, guys. I will catch you over in the um, Facebook group. Again, if you have any questions that you forgot to ask, come over and ask them. Somebody's going to help you. Myself, one of the admins, moderators, or either a fellow member. Um, and you can always reach out and message me. So I will catch you guys tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to make our design using some images from Design Space Access. And then you guys can go out and make a project doing whatever we created. Yay. All right, guys. Diane, reach out to me on Messenger and uh, let me get your information and we will get that shipped out to you ASAP. 
You guys have a wonderful night. Happy crafting.